Hi everyone, Holly with Keller Beads Kateri Designs. Yes, I'm out in the barn. It is not a bead day. It is a fixing the barn and taking care of animals day. Um, this I actually found at um, by the pond, right up against a tree, these two pieces. Um, I'm assuming it came off a bench, kind of looks like it. Gonna see if I can make something out here, just like something to sit on. That's a little, you know, different. Um, We've been, uh, this stall is almost completely cleaned out from when the, uh, goats were in there. I gotta get it all the rest of the way. Um, and I can only do a little bit of time because of the MS, but, you know, one thing at a time. Uh, and then next thing you know, you got it all done. Little Miss Sunshine's in here enjoying her stall that we're building up as much as possible. Um, because of all the, uh, rain that washed away a lot of the soil, so... So we're trying to fix that. Um, I got this berm going to keep stuff from going out from underneath it. And um, yesterday, uh, somebody posted a thing for free wood. And I went over there and uh, he actually helped me put it in there. He used to be a fence builder, or is a fence builder. And this is all the stuff that he just wanted to get rid of. And it's perfectly good wood. It's pressure treated lumber. Um, a little bit of mine is in there, but most of this is what I got from them. Literally filled up the entire back end of my van. It's a good thing my van has a stow and go seat so it makes it into like a nice little cargo van and um literally uh just got all this wonderful lumber pressure treated lumber that's really helpful and we can do some of the barn repairs with that um and some fence repairs but uh it was really nice i got some really big pieces too i got to put a nice post there that could be put into one post at least and then there's another one it's a really nice piece of lumber and i've got some you know um uh press board, whatever they call that. I can't think of the word right now. I know it's like around the tip of my tongue. It's stupid. It's a, I should know that word, but my brain just to let go of it. But anyway, so I've done a lot. Yes, that's the duck pool in there. And, um, this was all cleared out. This was all built up. It was just, you know, weeds and couldn't even open the gate, got the gate fixed. And I have a wonderful son-in-law who came out and, uh, walked the fence line and fixed, um, 99% of it, there's a little bit of it that we're going to have to get some uh, different stuff to fix it with and uh, time because <laughs> he works. He's a fireman, so um, we're doing that. We're uh, talking to some friends, um, possibly about helping us get some uh, electricity to the barn for super cheap. That would be nice because that's really one of the things we miss the most. Out. We can do more work out here if we had electricity. Um, I do need to get that tree. I don't know if you can see it. That limb is just hanging right over, right split on top of that, um, uh, of the line right there. I got to get that off there somehow. So again, kids, you know, son-in-law. Um, but we're just working on it and slowly but surely trying to get it to the, sorry, I got hair in my mouth. Slowly but surely trying to get it, um, built up. We still need to mow that, um, uh, pasture over there. It, it, um, didn't get mowed this summer and so it's kind of like you know dead grass you can see the new stuff trying to come up underneath it it's going to be beautiful like it was last year but we just got to get this dead stuff out of here and uh so i had to get someone to come out here and uh we got to just got to find the right person um but aside from that it's coming along really nicely i hung some nice uh cowboy stuff for the you know the barn and our little sitting swing here in front of the tack room in the you know in the um shop or what do you want to call it shop slash office slash soon you know hopefully turn this into a bunkhouse is what I really want to do um I also got some uh these handles from Hobby Lobby they're very rustic and I thought because it's really hard opening these doors just by themselves and you don't want to keep pulling on that because it breaks it so these were literally $2.99 a piece and um I got one for each door I already have a big one from the other door but you know um I have this in here temporarily because I need to get more and I wanted to try to match it. So I got to take this one out and take it up to the hardware store. So like I said, one thing at a time. And then um, just in here where, I, you know, I don't know if I've showed this before or not. But I really cleaned this out. This was completely, it was all cluttered with all of that. Literally just pounds of dirt. The desk system and everything was not put up like it was. It's my desk from when I was living in the other house where I was working doing all my beating work. Um, and now it's like pretty much a cat habitat, but for now it's, you know, uh, but this is why the dirt got in here and the sand gets in here because it's just, you know, there's no, it's just like, you know, really a, a barn. Nobody used it, was going to use it for anything. That's why I kind of wonder why they insulated it in here. I think maybe that at some point they were planning on doing it, but just decided not to. 
Um, but I really want to get this finished out. Um, again, that's just going to take time. And and funds and people. <laughs> It'd be nice if my jewelry would sell. I could do some of this stuff. But um, I got so much stuff. I'm really, really excited. Because I can come in here now and I can really do stuff with, with the barn. And really make it nice. So, y'all take care. And uh, God bless.